today we are going to talk about the conditional statement in a sql server so there are a different kind of conditional statement we have in a sql server so we'll talk about them one by one so first of all we need to understand what is conditional statement so first of all we need to understand what is condition so condition is something where we have a different output uh, based on the different things right let's say if i am talking about the gender so if my gender is male then the output should be different if my gender is female the output should be different right so if you have this kind of situation and you need to work with a query and you need to write such thing with a sql for, uh, understandable syntax then you need to go with a conditional statement so we have a different kind of conditional statement in a sql server today we are going to talk about the case statement so case statement name itself suggests when you will be having a multiple cases then you need to use this conditional statement that's a case statement so syntax is very simple so syntax start with a case then you need to use the when keyword when will represent the your first condition and here you need to type your condition one if that condition is true then what should happen you need to specify here so result one right again if this condition get failed then you will have a different condition so this is my condition two then result two likewise you can mention lot of case statement if you'll have the different kind of condition and let's say if none of your condition matches then you need to pass a default value then you need to use the else keyword else and this will be your default output you can say default result okay let's try to understand and then the final word would be end so it will represent the end of your statement so case statement are such kind of statement where we will having a multiple cases and that cases we can represent with a keyword called as a when and in the when we need to pass a condition if this condition passes then we'll move to the result one if not then we'll move to the second case statement right sorry second when statement so in a second when we'll again check the condition if this condition matches then we'll move to the second result right and if both the condition doesn't match then we'll move to the deposit section right twice. for example you have a table called as the employee and this employee table having a column called as a id which is int and then gender which is varchar varchar of 10 all right so i am having a table called as employee 11 which is having a column called as id in i am making it as the identity that's auto increment number 1 comma 1 great and i'm going to create this table now so i just created a table called as employee i don't have any value in this table so i'm going to load some data in it select so as it is having the auto increment number so we need to pass the name of a column here first my name of column is gender i am passing as a male first then next row i am passing as a f and then let's load it 
now if you'll come here and if you'll see the data what i have in my table is this one now you can see i have the two rows uh, the id start with the one and two and the gender value m and f now my requirement is i want to update this m to male and this f to female right so how can i do that so this this could be the interview question and i i, I faced this interview question many time when i started my career in database right so how can you do that you just simply use update statement here update then you need to use the table name then you need to use set right and here you need to use the case statement so we'll write like this case when when gender equal to m that's a male or m then it should be male when gender equal to f then make this value as female else blank and end so what will happen in this case now let's try to understand okay and what we have to update we have to update a column here so make it equal to okay let's try to understand what we have written first of all so we are updating employee table where the column value is m and it needs to be updated as a male if the column value is f then that value need to be updated as a female so i have written a case statement which we have just discussed so if if there is a data in a column called as gender and if it found m then that value will get updated to male and if the value is f and that value will get it get updated to female okay so if we'll update this data and let's see what will happen i just written the case statement and i updated it and i'm going to run it when i'll update the data i will see the gender value has been updated to male previously it was m now i can see it's a male previously the value was f now it is a female right so this value got updated this is a simple case statement in next video we'll talk we'll be talking about the if statement in a sql server which is again very easy to understand which is again very simple okay we'll try to understand in the next video hope you like and understand the concept of the case statement and thanks for watching if you like our video please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends thanks for watching